Water. Ground. Fire. Flying. My grandmother used to tell me about the old days, a time of peace and harmony. Each nation had Pokemon native to their land. They lived harmoniously together and built lives with them. But that all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. The Fire Nation saw raw power and veracity with their native Pokemon and used them to start a war. With the chaos this brought, harmony between Pokemon and people grew tense as each side used their native Pokemon to bring chaos instead of balance. Our only hope was the Avatar. He was connected to Pokemon in a way that no one else was. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years have passed and the Fire Nation is nearing victory in the war. We haven't lost hope. We believe the Avatar will one day return to save us all. What's up guys, and welcome to the Avatera region, a Pokemon region inspired by the world of Avatar, The Last Airbender, better known as Pokemon Balance and Pokemon Chaos. The Avatar series is a fan favorite to many, being regarded as one of the best shows of all time, from so many interesting characters, highlight of cultures, and amazing character arcs as well. And I felt this was the perfect time to showcase this top tier region due to the new live action show coming out on Netflix, and of course my love for Pokemon and Fakemon. And let me say, I'm both excited and worried as a fan about this brand new series, but it can't be worse than the movie. But before diving in, we have to give a major shout out to the creator of this amazing region, Artisis Canvas, or Artisagrams over on Instagram. They spent the time outlining a great avatar region alongside regions for Owl House and Steven Universe, which I know are popular as well. So please check out all their amazing artwork with the links in the description down below and let them know that Infamous Trainer sent you. So on that note, let's explore the Avatera region, let's see how the story unfolds with familiar characters, learn about a new Pokemon type exclusive to the region, and discover over 130 brand new Pokemon. Let's dive into Pokemon Balance and Chaos. Now as we check out all 133 new Pokemon for Avatera, I'm actually seeing a lot of these designs for the first time. This helps me give a genuine reaction to all these amazing Pokemon. And as we go along, together we can make our full team of 6 Pokemon. Even though initially I might add more than 6 on the team. So, bear with me. Alright, with any regional showcase you have to start with the starter Pokemon. As here we covered the grass, the fire, and the water type with Featherly, Rookamo, and of course Pup Cup. This is going to be an absolute banger, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting off with Featherly, it is a pure grass type with the Racing Steed uh, species. It looks cute, it looks adorable. It's not the starter for me, but I think I know the one I'm choosing. But overall, let's see how it evolves as it evolves into Ostrot. This thing is gonna be moving, racing, has like a like you know the, the vibe of the, the, the actual creature from Avatar. As we go, I'll try to put like images up of like what they are calling back to, so you guys can see that as well. Uh, and it evolves into Ostalion, becoming a grass and ground type. Pretty good typing, it's that Torterra typing. We love that, and the shiny's clean. It's hard to pull off a good green shiny, so kudos, major kudos for that. I love this energy. And then we're going over to the fire starter with Rekomo. He's looking like an absolute beast. Uh, the raging rhino Pokemon has the fire symbol and the shiny. Shiny's really diving into its typing. I actually like that a lot. Then we have Mani Teen. Okay, definitely giving off like that teenager energy. You know, flicking his hand, looking at you sideways. I like it. I love the, the personality that we have from these Pokemon. Uh, also being a pure fire type and then evolves into Conner, uh, Conoceros, it looks good. Fire Steel type, looks like a beast, looks like something they would definitely use in like the Fire Nation War, 110%. Comes with the ability hidden, uh, or so the hidden ability of Steam Engine, I am covering it, but no, it comes with Steam Engine, it's clean, I like it a lot. Heading over to the Water Starter, we have Pup Cup. This is dope, and this is the one that I personally choose. Pup Nug is a, a little adorable water dog Pokemon. You cannot beat that. Shiny is great as it evolves into Polaranian. Banger name. Banger name. Absolute 10 out of 10 name. It's, it's a pretty good size Pokemon as well. Um, pure water type and that shiny is so clean. And of course, you know where this is going if you've watched Korra at all. That evolves into Polar Sign and this is going to be the water dog Pokemon. The giant water ice type Pokemon that's going on my team. This thing looks like a beast, it looks like a menace, and I need it. I need this Pokemon. Pretty good stats overall, and the shiny is immaculate. So, I don't know what starter you're choosing. I'm choosing Polar Sign. This is my starter, Water Ice. I've never had this combo before. So with that being said, let's check out the main Pokedex for this region. 
All right, it all begins with Cubbler being a water type baby seal Pokemon. Also super adorable. I'm guessing this is kind of like the rodent of the region uh, as it evolves into sea line, also pure water type, has the thick fat ability. It's a solid Pokemon. Imagine this is like a three stage. This is better than seal. So, oh, dang, hold on, damn. This is, uh, okay, it's it's a Sea Hunter Pokemon. It's like the Cerberus Whale Pokemon. I, I kind of remember this creature from Avatar. I haven't watched The Last Airbender in a while, by the way. Uh, so I won't remember all the creatures off the top of my head, but I remember something looking just like this. The shiny is Immaculate Water Fighting Type 2. So for those who don't know, I love the fighting type. Do you love the fighting type? It's the best type. Don't be mad at me, be mad at your mama. It's the best type they got, all right? I, I love fighting type so much. This is a high contender. This is a high contender for the team already. Uh, next up we have Otwaddle, the very cute and adorable little penguin Pokemon. Uh, Swimmer, it is so tiny, dude. Look at the height on that thing. It is so tiny. As it evolves into Benglide, dude. It's it's the, the penguins, the sliding penguins from of course like the first episode of Avatar. Very iconic animals to the lore, to the character, to Aang, and, and the shiny is clean. All the shinies are really good so far. Uh, I'm loving this as it actually, whoa, that, that Pangu, he's getting dapper on us. I love the shiny again. It's, it's really nice. I don't, though, I would have gone water psychic here just because of like the monocle, like the ice monocle and everything. It's a different take. I wouldn't have minded like this thing in the second stage, but the third stage is actually pretty nice. Kind of gives off like a Mr. Mime, Mr. R a Mr. Rhyme energy. That's what it is. It's a, it's a Mr. Rhyme energy and I'm kind of here for it now. Oh, our first regional Pokemon with Nummel, the Num Pokemon, being an ice type. And it actually looks really good. Nummel looks great. I'm actually impressed. It looks good. And then it evolves into, of course, Camerupt, the Arctic Pokemon, being an ice and ground type. That man most slime Typhon. Uh, again, shiny looks immaculate. Love it. Big Pokemon, too. Big Pokemon. Oh, so we get Caramew which is the Horned Kitty Pokemon, a pure ice type. Now, I already have a water and ice type Pokemon, so I don't need it, but I feel like it's gonna look super cool. It does have like that leopard, uh, like kind of caribou type type design, got the horns on there. Oh, it's clean. Staguar is clean. The shiny's immaculate! Ice and fighting type? I might have to, you, you might be on the team. You might be on the team for real. We're only, we're only Pokemon 19, by the way. There's 133 Pokemon in this region. Oh, you might be on the team. That shiny's tough, the design is tough. I remember the creature for the most part. Oh, this is tough. Let me let me think about it. Hey, we got Lily of course. We know what this is. This Momo. This this is a little baby Momo. Oh, dude. Oh, it's a it's a it's a pure fairy type, the little lemur Pokemon. Okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Oh, and there's actually an extra box down below. You don't mount this Pokemon. So later it might be a Pokemon we can mount as we get Lemare. Lemare looks incredible. It's Momo. It's, and it has a, a an exclusive, uh, you know, female form that is in a great color. Shiny, super clean. Flying and fairy type on the team. You're on the team. Immediately on the team. This is a, a shoe in Let me get the OG. Let me get a boy version of this Pokemon. So next we have Cyclamer and it looks incredible. It's the flying lemur Pokemon. It is a fear, uh, fairy and flying type, almost said fire. Uh, um, I like it and you can mount this Pokemon. The shiny for the female one is so clean. It's for sure on the team. I don't know about you, but I know about me. And it's on the team. It's on the team for sure. Uh, next up we have Dewebble, wow. I've never, I've, I'm not gonna say never, but I haven't really seen too many regional forms for Dewebble, so this is a great take. It, you know, obviously, we know what Dwebble is. As evolves into Decacast, a bug and poison temple Pokemon. Oh, this is a different take I did not expect. And I love it. I actually love this. This looks incredible. Okay, I like it. Next, we have Yamask, and it has the spirit type. Oh, yeah, there's a new type. So, quickly, let's talk about the exclusive spirit type for this region. Obviously in the world of Avatar and even Korra, spirits play a major part in the story and overall world. So it's not surprising that it's a complete type here in Avatara. So quickly let's go down how it works. Spirit is effective against water, ground, fire, and flying, which is to represent the four main bending types. Then it's weak to psychic, dark, poison, and dragon. Alongside coming with a few different immunities. Pretty simple, right? Alright, let's dive back into it. 
honestly, it's the perfect Pokemon to have the spirit type. Great representation. It has like Kyoshi mask on the bottom. It looks incredible as it evolves into remember or like remember like remember regus remember regus a spirit and rock type being the spirit master pokemon oh i love the design with his hands all oh, the hand positioning is clean mm. spirit rock it's a little early it's a little early it's a little early my team i'm gonna show my team at the end but oh this is a high contender shiny's great by the way shiny's immaculate i love that i love that magic magic carb Magikarp is getting a regional form. Looks like Magikarp is big as hell, by the way. You can actually mount Magikarp as well. Uh, comes with Swift Swim as its ability. Again, I'm covering that up. Um, it looks good. It looks good and becomes like a golden in its shiny form like regular Magikarp. Based off what I know, but Magikarp has two forms in this region. It has, it has two, two forms. All right, so let's check it out first. Obviously, from the iconic Kyoshi episode, this is like the Leviathan. It's the ferocious Pokemon. Shiny is it's incredible. Uh, Water Dark type. Uh, and of course, you can mount this as well. And then you have Gyarados. Good upgrade. I actually like it. Becoming a Water Dragon type. Water Dragon. Water Dragon Gyarados. I'm here for it. It looks super good. And you can mount this Pokemon as well. As expected, it's a, it's a pretty writable Pokemon even in the movies and stuff. Then we got Ty Rogue. Now this is one I saw on the team. You guys know I love fighting type Pokemon, but here it's a normal type. No, 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 no. Ty Rogue's fighting, right? Yeah, Ty Rogue, Ty Rogue is a fighting type Pokemon. But here in Avaterra, it is a normal type Pokemon. It looks great, simple design. It's like a very simple upgrade. And I like this because it's the student Pokemon and will actually be taking on the typings of the four elements, you know, obviously to represent Avatar's four elements. So first up, we got Hitmontai, representing the water bending Pokemon. It looks like Katara. I love the vibe. It has like the bubbles. It's humanoid, but not too humanoid for those, you know, who feel like it, it's incredible. I like it. It looks really, really good. Then we have Hitmongar, which just looks like a brute. And it has like those bossing say colors. Get great. Normal ground type is the earth bending Pokemon. Then we have Hitmonfu, representing the fire bending and the fire type as well. This looks incredible. Mm, I don't know, I'm a little torn. I might do Hitmonfu, but of course, I've taken my quiz and I'm an airbender. So we have Hitmongua, and of this being a normal and flying type with air bending as its like species. It looks incredible. I love it. I'm choosing Hitmongua. All right, Hitmongua, you're on the team. I don't know why I even said it's on the team. All right, a normal one. Is, is gonna suffice that looks incredible i love that then we have um rabbit trip rabbit trip the clumsy pokemon super adorable super cute normal type it evolves into buna run the normal and fighting type on the team on the team on the team i love a good normal fighting type pokemon it's it's adorable too buna run is super cute the next we have rockinade i remember these are like the the little crystals that boomy was bending and showing off uh when they went uh, over to Bossing Say and stuff like that too. Yeah, hopefully I'm remembering all this correctly. Again, I haven't watched Avatar in a while. Of course, I'll be watching the live action show, so that'll start to spark my memory, but I wanted to show this region off uh, as it evolves into a Stalacol. Like, you know, okay, okay, I like this. The crystal Stalacol is dope. Rock and fighting type, okay. I'm a sucker for a fighting type, but this is maybe a little too slow for me. Ooh, like a Stalagmite, Stalagol, Stalagol looking clean. I like it. I like this. I love the shiny too. All three of the shinies are clean. Stalagol and Stalacol might might be some of the best shinies in this region so far. All right. Next we have uh, Pendop. Pendop. Poison type. Gotta have the poison types. Uh, you know, Octagos, Octopus, Pokemon. The Monkey King is here. For those who don't know, I'm the Monkey King. I love Monkey Pokemon. Infernape, Grookey, Rillaboom. Not those three disgusting monkeys. Get them the hell out of here. But I love monkey Pokemon. And here we have Monkeyed, the monkey goat. The monkey goat! You you kinda can't beat it. You kinda can't beat it. Get get Bunna Run, whatever was on my team. The, the rabbit, get it off. Get it off. We added we added this because look at it. Gorilla or it, it's a little too goaty for me, actually. But I'm gonna I'ma take it. It comes with the ability gorilla tactics. It's on the team. It's on the team. I'm telling you, I have this Pokemon gonna be on the team. I already know it. I already know it. Rock and Fighting Type Two. Hell yeah. Give me that. Oh wait, can you mount? Oh, I can also mount Grillor. Side note, you can you can mount this Pokemon. 
you cannot mount the cabbage. <laughs> the cabbage, the cabbage man, such an iconic character, the cabbage line, such an iconic line. Cannot wait to see it in the live action to see how that plays out, see if it's still as funny as I remember it being. Then we have uh, Skirmouse, which seems to be obviously like the uh, regional Pikachu clone, uh, being electric fighting just like the Palmo line. So this is really good. Palmy line, Palmo line, Palmot, the whole whole line. Then we have a uh, Kinroot, a ghost type Pokemon, as it evolves into Timblet. So pretty much kind of like a fire type version of Trevenant is what I'm getting here. Ooh, High Bear, the friendly Panda Spirit Pokemon. It's a it's adorable. It's adorable, it comes with the ability Fluffy. I like it a lot. Okay, well that's an unexpected turn. Now obviously we remember this creature, the spirit from uh, the actual episode. This is High Beast being a spirit and fighting type, the raging spirit Pokemon. It's clean and you can mount it. I can see this being almost something like a like a like a Cleavor or Hasuian Arcanine, pretty much like, you know what I'm saying, like an alpha Pokemon. You have to face and then at the end you can actually catch it. Right? Unlike the alphas, you can actually catch this one, which would be really, really cool. It looks so good. Shiny is great, too. All right, next up, we have Tomatoad, the spirit and ground uh, sumo spirit Pokemon. Looks really good. I love the shiny. Looks great in the green. Then uh, next, we have Flinny. Flinny is adorable as spirit and bug type flying bunny Pokemon. I love that. It evolves into Flare. Um, yeah, I, I like it accentuates. I do want to say, uh, you know, Flinny is, is way cuter, but pretty good. Gotta represent the bug type. Bug, bugs and ice both need representation. Uh, the next we have Fall Line, the spirit kitten Pokemon, as it evolves into Catler. Okay, simple, simple cat Pokemon. You kind of can't beat that. Then we have, uh, Crawler, the male carrier Pokemon. So it's like, caught, like carrier, Carrer, Carrer. Be a flying and flying type, of course, this is going to be for the Fire Nation. Um, it evolves into Parsor. Um, looks good. It looks like a regional bird you could expect to have on your team. Actually, I'm probably going to pick it up myself. I, you're on the team. You're on the team. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely on the team. Fire flying, kind of getting the Talon Flame vibes. Really comes with comes with Gale Wings and is clean. All right, next up we have uh, Gek Go, which is obviously a poison sly lizard Pokemon. Then we have uh, Basilint, a Basilink. Uh, it looks good. So I, I'm guessing, obviously, it evolves. Gekago evolves into this Pokemon here. It looks incredible. We have Collect, which is a dragon. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that I didn't expect. I don't remember this creature from Avatar. I don't remember this creature, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I mean, the design is pretty cool. The shiny clean kind of reminds me of like Halucha shiny a little bit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we have uh, Swinea, the hog monkey Pokemon. Damn, another monkey. We, we, oh, okay. On the team, on the team. Gorillog is on the team. A hog monkey fighting. You just, you just gave me a monkey Pokemon that's a fighting type. It looks dope. Give me the shiny version because that's clean as hell. With, with great stats. 100 speed, we moving. We moving. That's crazy. I love that. All right. So we have a Scuttlet, or Scuttle, Scuttle, um, obviously the creepy bug Pokemon. And we have Crawler. Uh, I actually remember this creature. It was weird, but it's a bug and ground type, so a really good type. And whoa, did not expect you. <laughs> uh, so it's like a Laracnid, a Laracnid. Okay, so because it lures in, it's, it's, it's prey. Bug and ground type again. I think it works really great for a spider Pokemon. Then we have Crookold the iced form um looks good and obviously croco the thawed form i remember that actually subjectively actually did a pokemon just like this in their region and i, I want to cover the mazel region one day we'll eventually get there hopefully i, I can show it off jack makes an amazing region all of them kind of help with that but it's such an amazing region um it looks good whether thawed or regular form they both look incredible either being ice grass or uh rock grass respectively Oh snap, the blue spirit Pokemon. The blue spirit Pokemon being a spirit in dark type. That's pretty hard. Shawato looking clean. I don't, mm, how do you not add it to your team? It's on the team. It's on the team. It's on the team. Okay, Sharath. Sharath looks good. I like it. 500 base stat total, spirit dark. Yeah, it's on the team. It's on the team for sure. 
It's definitely a little bit more humanoid, but it's it's not too bad actually. So we have uh, Shisloop, the very adorable Pokemon here, as it evolves into Slashu, which obviously we know is the. Uh, if I wait, is this the one? Right? Is this the one that June uses? Wait, no, 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 no. That's a different. That's a different creature. It looks good though. Poison Dark, fantastic typing. We know it. Then we have Lu Tank. You know, like Lieutenant Tank, Living Tank Pokemon. Pretty much like the Revavroom before Revavroom. Uh, being a Fire and Steel type, obviously, is to represent the uh, Fire Tanks by the Fire Nation. As it has Cap Tank. Uh, that thing looks like a menace. Again, Fire and Steel type, just like one of the starter Pokemon. Looks great. And then we have, ooh. Bim Flanked is the Hovering Bird Pokemon, but is not a Fire type. It is a pure Flying type, which is obviously rare. We don't have many pure, uh, you know, Flying type Pokemon, so I like it. Oh, damn, okay, what the hell? It looks super dope. Zeplimp, a flying and steel type horn bird. That's dope as hell. Great representation of like the Fire Nation. Yeah, that's that's a keeper. Then we have Whale Lord. What? Perfect region for Whale Lord. If I'm being honest, perfect region for Whale Lord. Obviously water steel type and evolves into Whale Rage. Okay, oh, Whale Rage? Whale large, whale large. What the hell am I talking about? Whale large, the 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 war whale Pokemon. Obviously, something that uh, you know the southern tribe, northern tribes would use to obviously go in the water. Shiny is immaculate though; looks incredible. All right, so we have Bullflurry. Okay, pure Ice Horn, Ice Horn Pokemon, and then we have Yakold. I like Yakold. Yakold's design is clean. Yakold's design is clean. Love the Ice Horn. Love like the Ice Beard as well. Looks really good. You kind of get that obviously here as well, so that's that's really clean. Oh, this is like Ice Q. It's like Ice Q. It's like Ice Q. I need it. 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 On the team. I already have a. I already have a Water Ice type. Yes, I know. Relax. This reminds me of Ice Q. Cubbyle on the team. On the team. Please tell me you evolve. Glacial. Let's go. We eating. This is incredible, and I can mount this Pokemon. Hell yeah. I need that on the team. Reserve Pokemon. Oh snap. And they got two a lot. Okay, two a lot here. Okay, shinies look great. Just two different colors of like water. Obviously, these are the iconic fish known for their water bending ability and gifting those water bending or teaching them water bending, being the icons for water bending. Um, so this is actually going to be a legendary Pokemon that is showing up a bit earlier. I only say that because the stat total is 685, and that's obviously crazy. Uh, and it comes with its own ability and everything. Again, you guys can check out the official Instagram or, of course, the DeviantArt to check out all the information. But it is a water and spirit type known as the Balance Pokemon. I love that. Ooh, hold on. Dracuti, little dog bat, as evolves into Dracula. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty good one. Flying Dark is a good typing as well. The bad dog Pokemon. It's the cat gator Pokemon. I'm a pass, but it's a, it's a cool Pokemon. Then we have Piglet, the flying type. Again, pure flying. So many pure flying types. I think that's actually really, really good because we don't have too many pure flying types, as I mentioned before. Then we have Hoggale, again, keeping the pure flying type. And then obviously we have Boar Breeze, being a flying in spirit type. I like it. I love the little like accents on its body. Those look really clean, by the way. I like that a lot. Iconic, iconic, iconic. Obviously, this is from the Moss episode where they're inside the forest and they have the battle. I forget his name, but he is a gym leader because I saw the picture. Uh, this right here being Florossal, um, you know, it, it looks great. The giant plant Pokemon being a grass and spirit type. Really good stats. It even has the ability Berserk. So for those who want that or grass pelt, again, I'm covering it. Um, and you can mount this. The shiny is clean. The shiny looks really great. It fits the forest theme super well. But uh, yeah, I remember this episode. This one was really cool. This is where we see kind of that forest where we see Toph for the first time. It's really dope. We have a uh, couple. Couple being the platypus bear. The platypus bear. I do remember the platypus bear. That looks super cool. I like this. This is super adorable. A rock type. Ooh, platystein. Platystein looks dope. I like this. Rock and fighting type. So many good, so many good typings this, this, this region. All right. Ah, some more iconic ones. We have the Badger Mole Pokemon Terrator. These look incredible. Shiny looks dope, of course, being the representation of how Earth Bending came to be. Teaching those Earth Bending. This was incredible. This is who taught, you know, obviously Toph Beifong how to do her Earth Bending because they're blind, she's blind, and they all Earth Bend. So super dope. I love this. And of course, you can mount this. So another legendary here on the screen. 
<laughs> the moose lion fighting type Pokemon. Oh, damn. Okay, Saber looks, Saber looks incredible. It looks incredible. Moose lion fighting ground. Oh, on the team. On the team. On the team so much. Because fighting and ground is a typing we need more of. Why don't we have more fighting and ground type Pokemon? Add to the team. Add it, add it, add it in, add it in, add it in. Nick it! What the hell? Nick it is a spirit type Pokemon. Uh, if I'm actually correct, it's actually going to be with the professor, which makes sense. Nick it looks adorable, uh, which I assume it evolves into Thievil, which has a way more like proper design, looks way more studious, way more teacher. Um, I like it. It's a, it's a definite change, and I haven't seen too many regional forms of Nicket and Thievil, so this actually looks really, really good. Oh, Librow? Come on. Come on, we know what this is. Librow looks incredible. A spirit and flying type, of course, is from the episode where they went inside the library. This is actually where our professor here, I forget his name, but where he ended up dying. Um, so, <laughs> that's the whole thing. That's funny. Um, Wheel? So, Weedle makes an occurrence in this region. Uh, it's the hairy bug Pokemon, bug and ground type as it evolves into Kakuna, the obviously Cocoon Pokemon. Um, again, didn't expect this. And we have Beedrill. This is a whole different take. It is a Drill B Pokemon, bug and ground type. I, interesting. I did not expect Beedrill out of all the Pokemon to be in this region. It The shiny looks great. Very reminiscent of Beedrill, but it has its own design and take. I just, I didn't, I did not expect this. Oh, Meowth, you gotta have a regional Meowth. If you have, if you're doing any region, you gotta have Meowth. It is a pure flying type. What the hell is that about? What does it fly with? It's, it's Whiskers? What does it fly with? The Sneaky Cat Pokemon, okay, there we go. There we go. Parowler, Parowler, the Sneaky Cat Owl Pokemon. That makes more sense. <laughs> um... And it has the ability Aerialate, so it will get the boost for obviously uh, flying type moves and stuff like that. And we have Murround, the Armored Cat Pokemon, Rock and Ground type, looking super adorable. As it evolves into, oh, hold on, this is clean by the way. Armor's looking stacked up. Tigramera looks, well, looks great. Rock and Ground type, you weak to water though. One Water Gun, one Razor Leaf, it's done. But it looks good, it look, looks really great. Then we have literally the tiny dragon Pokemon. I love that. Uh, no, I don't love you as much. <laughs> That's Flizzard. The dragon bug type. I love the typing though. I think the typing is immaculate. Give us bug dragon finally. G give us bug dragon. I don't I don't see why Pokemon is ever taking so long for this. Give us the damn bug dragon. Th oh, damn. Another monkey. Okay. We are. There's too many monkey Pokemon in this region. Uh, we have Monkaf, the hairy elephant Pokemon, a pure normal type as it evolves into a Trample, uh, the hairy em uh, elephant Pokemon as well, being a normal in fighting type. And the last but not least, he has uh, Gorilloth, which honestly is more mammoth than Gorilla, so I'm gonna let this one slide. Um, it looks great, pretty good stats. You can mount this Pokemon as well, and again, remains a normal in fighting type. This is such a different take on Kingdom's Con. I don't know how to feel about it actually, because it looks almost a little too weird. It still comes uh, being the parent Pokemon. It is a ground type instead of a normal type. And it has like all these little chitlins with it. And all the little chitlin Kanga babies. The Kanga's kids. Alright. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely like way more rabbit rodent like than before. Um, and it has three Kanga's, Kanga's kids, so that's pretty interesting. Then we have Fluffer. The main bird Pokemon being a pure flying type as it evolves into Hunter on the team. On the team. On the team. Immediately on the team. You look great. You look incredible. Flying Dark. Love the typing. Let's keep it. Whoa. Yeah. You on the team. And I can mount you. Valor. It looks incredible. Main bird. Again. I love it. Shiny's clean. But the original is a lot better I think with the colors. I love it. We've uh, Prickling. The little spiky pig Pokemon. As it evolves into Boralis, it's uh, a steel poison type. That is, that's good. That's good stuff. All right, we have Dracalf being the first dragon moose Pokemon I've ever seen. Of course, being reminiscent of the uh, dragon moose within Avatar. Uh, pure dragon type Pokemon as it evolves into Pompus. Uh, looking very majestic, very strong dragon elements, moose elements. Uh, then we have Taloin, the raven eagle Pokemon. Pure flying type. Uh, it actually evolves into Egade, the Raven Eagle Pokemon, also pure flying type, and then Aerogale. Um, 
wow, actually becomes a dragon type in his final form, which I didn't expect actually. But I guess we're kind of nearing the end of the Pokedex, so this actually does make sense to have more dragon Pokemon. So let's continue it up. We have Shumber, the flying and psychic. I, I will say there is a lot of flying types <laughs> in this region. Um, comes with the ability Psychic Surge, Fluffy, Cloud9, of course. Um, it looks it looks adorable, and I like the shiny, how it just kind of goes traditional sheep. Looks really, really good. We have Bog Bogrog, the Badger uh, Frog Pokemon, Poison types. So if you love your Poison types, you get some good representation in this region. Uh, obviously, Ribag. Uh, it is going to be also, again, a Poison and Fighting type, the Badger Frog Pokemon. You cannot mount this bad boy, but I love the eyes. The I love when different artists do different eyes for Pokemon, just to add a little bit more depth than just like a circle or a complete shade. It just adds more characteristics to the uh, the Pokemon Fakemon creature you're trying to create. Oh, oh guys, we know what this is. We know what this is. This is the iconic Turtle Duck, something that's very iconic to Zuko and his mother. Uh, this is so adorable. Quack Cutie looks super adorable. A pure water type Pokemon. I love it. It is an ador it's an adorable Turtle Duck. You, you kind of can't go wrong with this, right? As it evolves into Shellard, also being the Turtle Duck Pokemon. Kind of adding in some more elements to design, more more uh, turtle elements, I believe. It looks good. And then for the final evolution, we have Gossasaur. And this being a turtle duck Pokemon that is now a water and dragon type. That's a really good typing. So, and great stats. 115 speed, you know, 120 special attack. Obviously, base stat total is 600. And it has a nice white kind of duck shiny color so it kind of becomes like ugly duckling ugly ugly duckling and then beautiful white duck obviously it's more more terrorizing here uh but water dragon great typing then we have the representation for the fire benders right here with the dragon himself this being Verocuna. And it's shiny looks immaculate. The blue, obviously that kind of represents Azula, that kind of represents some other things on that side. Comes with the ability Flame Yell. What that does, I do not know. Check out the official uh, <laughs> pages for that. But Fire, Dragon, another legendary Pokemon to help represent the bending type. As well as Nim Boosin on the team. The Sky Bison is on the team. Flying and spirit type, someone's coming off, comes with the ability Twinkle Toes, that is super clean. You can mount this Pokemon just like with uh, Veracuna here, that way you have another amazing Pokemon. This one's definitely a lot more beefy, so for sure you gotta add Appa on the team. If you get an opportunity, you cannot help but add Appa on the team. It looks incredible, Nimbusi looks phenomenal. Then we have the legendary Pokemon Rava, which represents Rava, obviously from Avatar. So. We have Rava being a spirit and fairy type, the spirit of peace. And then of course you have to have Va too. Again, these are two characters more reminiscent from Korra. Again, there's a lot of like Korra elements in here. I know, I know you guys hate Korra. A lot of people hate Korra. I love Korra. I think Korra is great. Um, Rava, Rava being here, Va too being here is fantastic. And then we have Leoterra. Oh wait, one second. Spirit and dark type, obviously. Uh, then we have Leoterra being uh you know the the actual world turtle pokemon it is a spirit and ground type with a 700 base stat total and that looks absolutely incredible and that actually is going to be the entire pokedex for the avatar region so if this is what you were really focused on that is awesome there is over 130 pokemon i think i said 133 but i meant 131 um there's so many amazing choices so let's go ahead and show you guys my team really quickly show me your team show me show me your team too let me know in the comments what your team is but let me show you guys my team after heavy consideration i've decided my avatar team would be polar sign hitmongua gorillor shraith gossasaur and nimbusin this right here is like the perfect avatar team to me or at least that fits my overall vibe again let me know what your full team would be in the comments down below now that we all have our teams, let's look at the story and the characters for the region, alongside the Avatar Gym Challenge in Elite Four. Just like in Avatar, it'll start with either Sokka or Katara to kick off the story as your main character. And of course, you're from the Southern Water Tribe, where you'll be living with your sibling and grand grand. From here is where you'll meet Professor Zai, which should be a familiar face from the series. And due to his smart and too curious nature is how you'll start your adventure with him and eventually meet Aang, the Avatar. Upon stumbling on the iceberg, we will discover a strange light coming from it, alongside a trainer named Aang and his Pokemon, Nimbusin. 
Of course, you'll go penguin sledding and play with Aang as he explains what a Pokemon journey is, and how to become closer with Pokemon alongside giving you Pokeballs to start your adventure. And just like in the series, you'll encounter a Fire Navy ship, which then leads you to the Fire Nation heading over to your village. From here is where you'll meet your rival, Zuko. Aang will of course defend the village and go with Zuko, and Grand Grand will give her blessing for our upcoming adventure. The rest plays out as expected with us heading to the ship, helping out Aang, battling grunts, and even witnessing Appa's brand new spirit form. More about that in just a little bit. Then it starts our adventure from there, visiting the Air Temple, meeting the Kyoshi Warriors at Kyoshi Island, heading over to Omashu, and even taking down Dark Spirits and more. Overall playing out the major events of Avatar but with Pokemon. And on your journey you'll encounter some brand new items, which you need and will earn as you travel with Aang. Of course, after getting your starter Pokemon, you'll be getting a Dex Scroll, which is the equivalent to a Pokédex, something more similar in style to the Legends Arceus Pokédex. And just like in Legends, we'll get brand new Pokeballs, like the old Gust Ball, which boosts the catch rate for Flying, Psychic, Fairy, and Spirit Pokemon. The old Boulder Ball, which is great for catching Ground, Rock, Fighting, and Steel Pokemon. The old Cinder Ball, which is great for Fire, Poison, Electric, and Dragon Pokemon. And lastly is the old Polar Ball, which is great for catching Water, Ice, Grass, and Dark type Pokemon. Then later, these will get upgraded options just like in Legends to boost the catch rates even more. But alongside Pokeballs, you'll also get brand new key items and battle items, just like the Bison Whistle, which is a whistle that'll bring over Nimbusin so that way you can fast travel across the entire region and brand new items just like the Kyoshi Fan, which doubles the effectiveness of ground and rock type moves while giving a boost in attack and special attack. But that's not it, as in Avatar there's brand new features like Pokemounts, which are why some of the Pokemon that we talked about in the Pokedex can be mounted. Overall this is simple, as you can either catch a Pokemon and build up his friendship with food, that way you have a great Pokemon to ride on at any time, or maybe your persuasion skills are really top notch and then you can persuade it and then ride it for a while. This is important as some different Pokemon mounts will have different abilities within different environments. But there's also a brand new battle mechanic. Just like when they introduced double battles, triple battles, and the horrible rotation battles, there is a brand new battalion battle here in Avatera. In these battles, you'll bring out your whole team and battle the entire enemy team with them. So yes, the whole team all at once, but if they bring out 4 Pokemon, you match them with the same number. And just like that, you'll select the move and of course, you'll attack all together, making it a lot easier. And just in case you love legendary Pokemon, just keep in mind that they use 3 slots instead of 1, like standard Pokemon. Then lastly is the gimmick for the region. We've had Mega Pokemon, Z moves, G-Max forms, and Terratalization in Gen 9. But here in Avatera, there is Spirit Forms. By giving a Pokemon one of Aang's Spirit Balls, they have access to these brand new forms which they take on a new type and possibly appearance. And any of those Pokemon who give a connection to one of the legendary Pokemon is granted a boost and embodies their spirit. Now keep in mind, spirit forms can only last for 4 turns and can only be used once per battle. During this event, it'll change all their attacking moves to the type they change into, and any effects they have on those moves will not work during this time. You can't make it too OP. These are all very important as you face many challenges and threats on your adventure, just like your rival Zuko the Sozin and Grunts and Sages, not to mention the Pirates and even Trapper June. But there's also Admin Zhao and Sozin's Elite of Azula, Tai Li, and Mei. Then lastly you have Fire Lord Ozai, the Big Bad, not to mention his special form, the Phoenix King. But of course you'll also see familiar faces with new challenges like Gym Leaders with Boomy, Paku, and Toph. I know you guys were asking where Toph was, well she's a Gym Leader, alongside many others. And of course, we cannot forget about the White Lotus being the Elite Four, with their leading champion, Iroh, the GOAT. With all of these collectively together, this will hands down give you one of the best experiences and the ultimate challenge here in Avatera. Well, there you have it. After 131 new Pokemon, tons of characters, lore, and more, we have seen Pokemon Balance and Chaos. I hope you guys enjoyed our time looking through this exciting region. And again, this was only possible by the very talented Artisa's Canvas over on DeviantArt and Artisa Grams over on Instagram. Please check them out. Look at all their other regions with the links in the description down below. And be sure to let them know that Infamous Trainer sent you. Also, if you enjoyed any part of this video, don't forget to leave it a like. And if you want to see more region showcases, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more content. And check out the playlist. There's plenty there for you. With that all being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. 
and bye.